Hello there. Welcome to another Barb's Dance video. Today I want to show you how to do spritzing with your thinlets and framelits to create patterns like this one that you see here. Let's get started. For this technique, you will need your magnetic platform. You will need a scrap piece of paper, uh, a piece of cardstock. I'm going to use Whisper White. And you will also need your set of thinlets or framelits. I am going to use the Word Bubbles framelits that are actually on the retiring list right now and will be available while supplies last through June 2nd. So I'm going to dump these out. So I'm using these six here. I'm using the magnetic platform so that they'll snap into place and not move around on me. I'm also putting them cutting edge down so that when I, it's time to remove them, I will be able to easily uh, pick them up off of the paper to remove them. Let's get these set on here. And you can see I have a couple of them that are hanging off of the paper. And this last one here. My initial piece of cardstock measures, I believe it's three and a half by five. Okay, so I've got my dies all snapped down on there pretty tightly. And then I have my Stampin' Spritzer here, and I filled this up oh, about two thirds, three quarters of the way with a 70% uh, isopropyl rubbing alcohol. And then I did add, I think it was about seven, oh, seven or eight drops of Pool Party ink. And then I gave it a little bit of a shake and I have been spritzing with it so you can see that mine isn't full any longer. And then all you do is you just spritz all over your paper, covering it until it looks good to you. Then all you have to do is just gently pick up your framelits. And this is where having the cutting side down is helpful because you can actually get your fingernail under there to remove them. Now these I will just run to the sink and rinse them off with water and then blot them dry with a towel. Alright, it's been a couple of minutes. My paper is basically dry. So now I can remove the magnetic platform and my scratch paper. So you can see on my other card um, I placed the framelits basically in the same area um, and so I now I can kind of show you how I finished off the card. Um, I did take this stamp here from the set called Yippy Skippy, which is also on the retiring list, available through June 2nd. So I went ahead and used the awesome thanks here. And what I did was I inked that up in my Memento Black. I stamped the image. I took a piece of washi tape from the Sweet Dreams collection. This is in the Occasions catalog, also available through June 2nd. Here's the pattern right here. I stretched a piece of that across my paper, and then all I did was I just lay my die on it, lining it up evenly on both sides so I get a little bit of that pattern of the washi tape, run it through the big shot, and this is what I end up with. I've also got uh, just some basic black cardstock die cut with this style of framelit. And then up here at the top, I have this cute little embellishment, and I'm going to show you how I created that. I took two strips of washi tape from the Sweet Sadie washi tape collection, also on the retiring list. I chose the kind of diagonal stripe, and I lay two pieces on this piece of Whisper White cardstock side by side tried to line them up so it looked like a continuing pattern. Then I took my banner punch and I just lined that up, punched that out, and then I have a cute little banner uh, with that pattern of washi tape. I decided that I needed another little banner punched out of basic black and I just glued those two together so I had a little bit of the black showing at the bottom of the banner. My final embellishment is the Sweet Dreams button embellishments and they are in the Occasions 2015 catalog and I chose one of these really cute little hearts 
and I just glued that right on top of that washi tape banner with a glue dot. Here's another sample for you. This one was done using the striped scallop thinlet die. And you'll notice on this die, it does have a bunch of little holes in it, which helps you to remove uh, the paper when you use it as an actual cutting die. But for my purposes, I just laid it on my piece of Whisper White and I spritzed Blackberry Bliss mixed with alcohol onto this piece of paper. And you notice that the holes did get filled with the ink. I thought they looked really cool. I just decided to randomly cover a few of them with some basic rhinestone jewels. I have my stamp out of the Hey There stamp set. The Hello is one of my favorite stamps. It's also retiring. And this butterfly came out of the polka dot pieces, I believe it is. Um, layered it on some silver foil cardstock and then on basic black. And I just think it's a very, very gorgeous card. So that was another thing that I did using this same technique. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned some things. And if you need any supplies or need to check out some fun stamping tips, you can go to barbstamps.com or my shopping site at www.shoppingwithbarb.com. Thanks so much.